What is up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fist back again. I know it's been a while since I posted a video a little bit um, under a week. Had some uh, personal stuff to take care of, but we are back and in full effect. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying those drops that are over on Twitch.tv. Um, we have been streaming every single day right now um, with drops. We had a lot of good viewership. If you guys want to come hang out with us, you should definitely come do so. It's going to be Twitch.tv slash Loopy Fist. Come hit us up. We're having a fantastic time. Um, but guys let's get to the meat and bones of this grandmaster just came out um this tuesday and people are kind of on the fence about him they don't know if they're liking him they don't know if they're loving him they don't know if they're hating him they don't really know what they're gonna do um i do think he's gonna be a card that is not gonna be really of uh, the center of a deck i think he can make some decks better you know in a sense kind of like move in some instances or maybe even destroy but he is a very situational card you don't really need to have him all the time, but he can be kind of like the sprinkles on your chocolate sundae to make things a little bit better. Um, and by saying that, we do have a deck that I want to show you guys who are rocking this today on the stream. I like to call this one Grand Master Mold. This is a deck that utilizes Master Mold um, as well as Grand Master. But at the, at the meat and bones of this deck, it is a Ronin deck. We also have Dr. Doom in there. Dr. Doom actually won us very many games just by having him. Um, but I, I, I think this deck is just very well balanced. Um, it also has Ravona elements in there. Um, Ravona is basically just for Iron Man and Mystique, but we threw those in there because Ravona really gives Grandmaster a very good buff, making him a 1-0 card, which when you really think about it, that's an awesome, awesome combo to have with grandmaster being able to trigger things with just one energy um twice is pretty phenomenal so we were able to get a lot of games here with the double master mode filling our opponent's hands with master modes uh with sentinels and they were just not able to do anything um also we got iceman in there just for a little bit of early game agitation the opponents are gonna hate it trust me um, we even have some games where we throw out Iceman and they just leave. You guys know that happens. Um, of course we have Mobius in here because a lot of people are still trying to cheat out energy. As you can see, we are with Ravona. So it's going to stop a lot of their combos. It's going to stop a lot of Zabu. It's going to stop a lot of Sarah. Sarah control is really crazy right now. Uh, thanks a lot, Revis. Pre appreciate it. Um, and besides that, man, we got the Mystique for the Ronin and we got the Mystique for the Iron Man. We can get really huge lanes with this. Baron Mordo can also be something you can combo as well as Black Widow with Grandmaster. No one wants to get a bunch of cards that they're typically gonna be playing early and have to play them now on turn six. And really when you get to play Baron Mordo more than once, I think that's where he really shows his, you know, value. Because getting one card that is a six, you know, get a six cost is a lot different than getting a two six cost cards because you know they're probably not going to be able to play both of those cards so it really works out great the double black widow is just toxic man it is so toxic you play black widow on turn three next turn you play master mode as soon as they're tossing that widow bite out they're going to get right back into having another one in their hand and that's also going to make that card a um what a three five potentially it's kind of crazy, especially if you do that later, because that's too, m making them miss two turns of pulling is phenomenal. Also, Maximus could just be, you can make them pull four cards on the last turn if you want them to, just to buff up your Ronin. So you can do a lot of crazy stuff on here. I love the synergy of Dr. Doom just as a good six drop to really get into some, some hard to reach places. It's a really fun deck. We got some really good wins with it. Here are some videos I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, by the way, before you go, I do want to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you might want to consider doing so. We are constantly growing. And right now, I do want to thank you guys for allowing us to reach 2,500 subscribers over on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Now, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stalling. Without further ado, let's go get into the video. Catch you guys later. Bye. It's going to be there for a while. I'm not sure. Man, I just saw this new... Um, I still have it up. There's a new soundboard I'm going to be getting. Um, it's called the um, the Roland Bridge Cast X that just came out. And I can't wait. I can't. What's going on here? Sunspot? And some Kellogg's.
Okay, so that's what kind of deck we're going up against. Awesome, Mindscape. I mean, I could play Iron, I could play um, Grand Master right now. Right, this is kind of terrible for me right now. I don't have a whole lot of things I want to do. Well, that kind of sucks. Sucks too. You should have got rid of that. Would have been great if you get rid of the middle. Of course, obviously. No, honestly, no. Wait, that happened last turn, so you could have played that if you had it. But I don't really care about Mindscape that much. You gotta be a dick. I am. Is he gonna skip this turn? Like a jackass? Yes, he is. Um, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna play Hulk somewhere, right? Love Chance the Snapper? Oh yes. Honestly, that could be a good name that I should um I should change my name to. That'd be awesome. Yo, Gravity Surfer, thanks so much for the follow and welcome to the loop through. Um, I feel like this is my best bet to try to win every single lane. Yeah, he just played both of me. Oh, he's been infinite. Okay. Great. We win. We still win. Thank you, buddy. And that's the power of Mobius right there. Retreat. Oh. <laughs> he could, I mean, he skipped that last round because he clearly has She-Hulk in his hand. Uh, this is a clear, this is a clear win because he leached us and we got Mobius. So there we go. Yo, Shiragami, welcome to the Loop Troop. Thank you for the follow. Yo, 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 yo. All right, next time we're gonna play Ravona first. Seems to be a good plan. Oh. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. I should lower my terrible. Forgot which one it was. Is it already the lowest it can go? I'm actually not sure. It might be. Wait, what is this for? Didn't peep the Mobius play. Good call on stand. Uh-oh. Almost forgot to do that. Sorry, my friend. Sometimes I forget that Ravona has three power. It's pretty weird. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and start gaining a bunch of power over here. And then eventually I'm gonna just try to ruin this guy. Um, the middle, not as important as what I wanna do over here. Cause I do have Iron Man. Great. I think, I think we're pretty good right now though, especially with the Mo, the Ravona and the Baron Mordo. I don't know what he has, but should be good. Do I want to get two? Do I want to get two Iron Man or do I want to get two Ronins? I think in this in this case, I want to go for two Iron Man. I'm gonna go ahead and snap. I'm gonna snap right now. I'm gonna do Iron Man over here, then I'm gonna do Mystique, then I'm gonna go Ronin. Well, no, I'll do Mystique in the middle. 
And hopefully this guy does not have. I am Iron Man. Oh, he's a Mr. Negative deck. This could get pretty bad. Let's do this. Well, let's do this. And then let's, because he just did Mr. Negative, and I know that all the cards he's pulling now are going to be a bunch of bullshit. Let's do this first. So, oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Mobius. We just play Mobius. I forgot about Mobius. Yeah, we just play Mobius right now. We've already snapped. Should I, I guess the question is, should I wait a turn? No. No, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna do this and this. He's gonna be so excited. Oh my God. I wonder why he played Mr. Negative in the middle. That's kind of weird. Oh, hey, Jubilee, what you got there? I am. Iron Man, that's not cool. Too bad you can't use Mystique on that. And I'll do this over here. And I'm also gonna give whatever he put. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can give whatever he has next a, a big boost though. And it's gonna go to the mid. So it kind of works out. Add some extra power to the middle. He has the ball, he's gonna be winning mid again. He's losing the left. And now we just finish with Dr. Doom and Iceman, huh? This should win, right? I mean, I don't see any other way that, that he could win this. He has to play it. He has to do a lot to win this. It's going to be kind of tough. If he has Enchantress on the left, then it kind of sucks, but we probably still win that though. We still have three, eight, and one. Still have a lot. And this should also win the middle. I don't see how we lose this. But I'm willing to see if he can find a way. Okay, Blue Marvel, scary. We lose the middle again, I think. No, we tie it. Okay, so we win everything else. So great. There we go. Four cubes. Yeah, I don't know how we were gonna lose that. So <laughs> honestly, magic really helped us out a lot right there. But obviously, we have Mirror Island too. So, and he didn't have any counters. Um, and Mobius was just fantastic for that. You know, what did I get? I got a big pile of stinky poop poop. It was um, what was it? What did I get? Fuck. Um, I don't forget. Um, Chibi Cyclops, I think. This guy has Sentinel. I just already I gave him some more. Ooh, I wrote this song. I don't like it, Gray. I think he's pretty cool. I don't like that he's just like using these. But that's not fair. Man, man. Okay, so we just gave him a Black Widow. I think this gets I us to win. Iron Man. We 
because what I'm gonna do is do Grandmaster over here and Ronin over here. And I think that should get us the win. The more cards he puts over there, the more power we're gonna have. Plus Ronin's gonna be more powerful than Devil Dinosaur. So I don't think there's anything to worry about really. We're gonna lose the left, but we should be able to win everything else, right? Or maybe I should even do this and this. Maybe this is even better. I think this is better. <laughs> oh, I didn't get destroyed. Oh man, I should have played it on the... If I played Grandmaster on the right, it would have been even better. Devil Dinosaur will never be a, will never be bigger than Ronin. Just fantastic. Uh, is he worth four cash keys to me? To me, he is, but that's because I'm a content creator. To you? If you're not a content creator, maybe not. I think he's okay. He's just, a, he's like, he's like eating a salad. <laughs> And putting croutons on the salad. You know what I mean? So to me, I'm like, yeah, he's pretty good, you know? Better get rid of it. I already know what he's going to try to do. We should have this in the bag, by the way. Why you on double Kyra? That's weird. He seems like a good aid, but I'm not, but not game breaking. Exactly. You like croutons, but I don't need them. Exactly. It's like you don't you can you can like croutons, but you don't have to have them for a salad, you know. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. So right now he should be about to um He should be about to skip this turn. Oh close but we were iron man everywhere you know so hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did you should click on my face right here to subscribe to the channel or you can also check out this video right here you guys have a great day bye